Greetings once again, it's Apple Stump Bushcraft Stephen Things doing a short follow up on a previous video we posted regarding the use of RAM set 22 caliber power loads for pushing 22 caliber pellets out of the appropriately chambered firearm. So, yesterday we went to the shooting range and we tried a new approach where we last time we used a 22 caliber lead pellet and a yellow top ram set power load. Yesterday we used, instead of a lead pellet, a solid copper pellet. And those are marketed by Gamo, or Gamo, whichever you prefer. We stuck the pellet on top of the power load with just a little piece of red wax. So, right there you have the the entire assembly. And that we placed into the chamber of a Ruger American 22 caliber bolt action rifle and took it to the range, outdoor range, and fired it. And there's a close up of the assembly of that round. Now, again, the 22 caliber solid copper projectile is held against the yellow tip ram set cartridge just by a piece of wax. On previous attempts at powering a 22 caliber pellet with a ram set power charge or power cartridge, we tried lead pellets such as these. There you have three identical ones and these are charges are the brown, the green, and the yellow. Can't see the paint because I covered it up with the wax, but those are held on by wax. On previous uh, trips to the indoor range, I fired that particular arrangement, except that the pellet was epoxied onto the, the Ramset power charge cartridge and not just held on there with a little bit of wax. So the wax is molded on there for lubrication as it goes down the bore. That's why it's wrapped around the outside of the pellet. So that attempt that took place at the indoor range was fairly successful and had mixed results. The skirts of three out of nine of those shots uh, sheared off and remained in the chambers of a nine shot H&R 22 caliber pistol. They were extracted rather easily just with a cleaning brush but they did stick inside the chambers while the tip of the pellet went downrange and struck the target and the barrier beyond. So you may be wondering how did things go yesterday at the outdoor range with this arrangement the 22 caliber solid copper projectile on top of a ram set yellow tip power level 4 cartridge. Uh, not quite as expected as you can see in the velocity table here, the velocity that the copper pellet achieved measured 10 feet from the muzzle was 3,481 feet per second. That's Mach 3, three times the speed of sound. That's smoking right along. So in that regard we achieved a really, really fast solid copper projectile from a 22 caliber bore, but the rotary magazine of the Ruger 22 American bolt action rifle suffered a little damage as a result. The magazine blew right out the bottom of the gun in the process of exploding, the rim of the 22 caliber yellow tip power level 4 ram shot cartridge blew out, did this to the rotary magazine, and left this part lodged in the chamber of the firearm. So we'll get a little close up of that. So as you can see, there's no rim. This 
part of the what remains of the cartridge case is slightly belled because when I looked down the chamber of the rifle I couldn't tell if anything was stuck in there because it was charred a little bit from the powder so I tried to insert another round in the chamber and that's when I found out that this part was stuck in there so you notice again the rim is completely sheared off and there's a nice long crack at the forward edge which is the crimped area here you can see that crack so that was stuck in the chamber and I couldn't get it out on the range so one shot tied up the rifle until I got home when I got home I dribbled just a little bit of ballastol down the muzzle end of the rifle and I put a patch at the other end to soak up any that might come through and I just took a 22 caliber cleaning rod put a phosphor bronze brush on it ran it down the bore and this popped right out without any trouble whatsoever so it wasn't like it was welded in there but it was uh, stuck so that I couldn't use the rifle again until I got it out so what did we learn from that well we learned that ramshot power cartridges are for shooting nails into concrete and not for shooting 22 caliber pellets out of a 22 caliber rifle we learned that and we learned that if we do do something stupid like using a ramshot power cartridge to power a 22 caliber solid copper pellet down the bore of a Ruger American 22 caliber rifle this happens now luckily I didn't have any part of my body beneath that magazine when it went to pieces or otherwise might have been injured so age-old wisdom applies here don't try this at home part of the lesson we learned here is that it can be rather expensive to do experimental science I guess you could call it non-sanctioned ballistics experiments so it cost me about twenty seven dollars to get a new magazine for my rifle luckily the chamber and the interior workings of the rifle came through the episode without any damage so I cleaned the rifle last night inspected it looks just like new and it, today it has a new magazine to boot I do have a few more of those cartridges made up and I have a H&R model 922 handgun an old revolver older than I am which makes it manufactured around the time God got out of kindergarten and that one probably will take the loads that I have made up already without too much trouble as I mentioned before when I shot the pellets attached to the power cartridges at the indoor range the worst that happened was that the skirts sheared off of some of the lead pellets about three of them out of nine I don't expect the skirts to shear off of the solid copper pellets. I am going to take uh, extra precautions and wear some gloves and uh, some really stout iron ear protection for when I fire those. In case the gun goes kaboom, I don't expect it to. So if, and that's a big if, capital I, capital F, if I decide to fire the rest of those loads that I've made up and not just chuck them in the trash, I will fire them from that H&R Model 922 probably at the outdoor range and we may chronograph those loads and see how they do but this is not going to be a source of cheap 22's for me for <laughs> obvious reasons I can't afford to replace a $27 magazine every time I fire one shot alright so that's the the gist of it Apple Stump Bushcraft stuff and things. Who says we're not an educational channel? Do not, repeat, do not try this experiment yourself. It's dangerous. It can destroy parts of your rifle. could possibly injure you or a bystander, possibly severely. So don't try it. Learn from my mistake and uh, save all your fingers for fireworks season, right? All right, thank you, and we'll see you next time. Adios.